morning everyone! Hello! Good morning! Today we are going to Fatima which is known as the biggest cathedral pilgrimage site in Portugal and the fourth in the world due to the apparition of Virgin Mary to three little shepherds in 1917. Fatima is an important religious site situated 125 kilometers to the north of Lisbon. You can travel from Lisbon to Fatima by car rental, bus, or by train. By car takes 1 hour and 15 minutes but routes involves overcomplicated and expensive toll. When taking train, Fatima station to Fatima town requires a taxi ride starting from 25 euros to 30 euros or just take an excellent and inexpensive bus service. I recommend taking a bus in City Rios. Red Expressos are the largest coach operator in Portugal with clean buses, punctual and reliable services. We're riding now on our bus going to Fatima. Yes. What? We're going to Fatima. The travel time from Lisbon to Fatima takes 90 minutes. You can purchase your ticket at the bus station or even online. Online tickets can be purchased up to 30 days in advance. They offer more than 25 departures to Fatima per day. Hello everyone! This is Lawrence and welcome back to my channel. So we are still here in Portugal, uh, specifically in Fatima. So I'm here with my mom. She just arrived uh, last Sunday. Like Sunday. four, no, one week ago, and we have here our tourist guide, <laughs> Ami. Hello. We just arrived. We we took the bus from Lisbon. You can take a bus Lisbon. in Setrios. So it took us one hour and a half. This is actually my third time and my mom's first time. Ami. How many times? <laughs> so my mom is ready to tour around Fatima. Yeah. But first we're going to attend mass. I think the mass will start at 11:30. We're going to show you around with the help of Amy, of course. See you later. The sanctuary of Fatima has every year about 5 million visitors. Pilgrims and curious people make this one of the largest Catholic pilgrimage centers in the world. The sanctuary, built on the site of the apparitions of Our Lady of Fatima to the Three Children, is in the center of Portugal and consists of several buildings. Between 1928 and 1954, the Church of Our Lady of the Rosary was under construction. During that time, the Catholic Church officially approved the Fatima apparitions as worthy of belief. Dedicated upon completion of its construction, the church was named a basilica by Venerable Pope Pius XII. Above the entrance of the basilica stands a marble statue of the Lady as she appeared at Fatima. A mosaic in the sanctuary depicts the Holy Trinity's coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. During construction of the Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary, pilgrimages to that location increased. So too did interest in the two visionaries who were deceased at that time, now Saints Francisco and Jacinta Marto. In 1935, their bodies were reburied in the Basilica Church where they remain today. The body of the third seer, Lucia Santos, joined those of the other two in 2006, a year after her death. The Marto seers were canonized in May 2017 by Pope Francis. In 2008, Pope Benedict XVI waived mandatory five-year waiting period to open a cause of canonization for Lucia. On February 13, 2017, Sister Lucia was accorded the title Servant of God as the first major step toward her canonization. The Basilica's 15 altars are dedicated to the 15 mysteries of the Rosary. The painting above the high altar depicts the message of Our Lady to the Little Shepherds prepared by the Angel of Portugal through their encounter with Christ in the Eucharist. A five-section organ, actioned by a console of five keyboards and pedals, is installed in the choir. It has 152 registers and approximately 12,000 lead, tin, and wood tubes. 
Initially, the organ was divided into its five parts and dispersed within the basilica, but it was reformed in 1962 and installed in its present location. One of the places you must visit in the sanctuary of Our Lady of Fatima is the Chapel of Apparitions. This small chapel was built in 1919 on the exact spot where the tree was rooted next to which the Virgin Mary appeared to the three little shepherds. Although it was destroyed by strangers in 1922, the small chapel was rebuilt some months later. In 1982, a big roof was added to the small chapel to protect the pilgrims from the hot days and rainy days. In the center of the chapel, you'll find the original statue of the Virgin Mary. In its crown, you can find the bullet that hit the Pope John Paul II in the assassination attempt in Rome in the 13th of May 1981. In the sanctuary, you can also find the Basilica of the Holy Trinity. The construction began in 2004 and ended three years later. The church is a modern, round, white building with 8,633 seating capacity. In the sanctuary, you can also light the candle for small prayers. Throughout the world, lighting candles is a sacred ritual. Catholics light the candle for many purposes, to illuminate darkness, dedicate prayers, solidify intentions, offer blessings, evoke spirit, and or to nourish grateful living. After a long walk in the sanctuary of Our Lady of Fatima, you can find plenty of coffee shops, restaurants, and gift shops where you can buy religious articles or souvenirs. There is a shop managed by a Filipino named Shane. She is very kind and very accommodating. The items are also very affordable. Shane and her husband Carlos also owns a guest house called Pinoy House. It is in the center of Fatima, two to three minutes walk to the entrance of the sanctuary of Our Lady of Fatima. It is also near supermarket, wax museum, and restaurants. It is very near to all, but it was situated in a solemn place. Guests can book directly or online where the rates can be very flexible. The very kind Mr. Carbell who loves history can also show you around and share his knowledge about Fatima. So it's already 2.30. We just had our lunch at a typical Portuguese restaurant. We spent around 24 euros for a good meal. We're very, very full actually. What can you say, mommy? Yeah. Huh? We had lunch at uh, a restaurant called Libre. I thought the foods there were free. <laughs> Cheesy. <laughs> Just a joke, but the name of the restaurant is Libre? Lib Leb Lebre, something like that. Now we're heading to, and we're going to the house of the three children named Jacinta Francisco and Lucia who saw the Virgin Mary. 